I was initially worried when Catherick learned how to make custom weapons and armor for Baldur's Gate 3. With his condition, I expected him to break something or destroy the realm or, at minimum, break his computer. I was pretty impressed when he showed me the custom warhammer and heavy armor that he made for himself. He even successfully tested it, but <laughs> unfortunately on me. Hey everyone, this is Ama Dr. Nada. Today I release Polymath 2.2, enabling you to make custom weapons and armor for your class and subclass mods, offering even more opportunities to customize your game. Be sure to stay until the end because I have exciting plans for my upcoming content. Plus, it'll boost my engagement and YouTube obsessive compulsive numbers. Some background. Baldur's Gate 3 does come with exciting weapons and armor. While there is a variety, my current loadout has stayed roughly the same for some time now because good gear stays good to an extent. When you can smash Nier and Ketherick equally good with the same weapon, why change? I wanted to do something about this, so I updated my all-in-one modding automation software Polymath. It now has a custom weapon and armor creation widget, with the equipment readily added to your class and subclass mods. The upgrade gives you even more chances to customize your class mods, even if it is to make a crossbow warhammer that allows you to shoot fire, as we'll do in this video. Before going further, a quick message from corporate. Why join Ketherick's army? For me, it was the benefits. In my old job, I had to get my own health insurance, and had few extras to help me and my family. With absolute health insurance, I know that I'm covered if anything happens. And Char forbid if the worst happens to me, because they assure me that I have great life insurance. The language in the contract was a little convoluted on what would happen if I passed away suddenly, but with what I've seen, I'm not worried. When you need care, they'll absolutely be there. To briefly cover class mods for those first visiting my channel or just don't have much experience with modding, class mods in Baldur's Gate 3 add new classes at character creation, offering even more customizability. Polymath, software that I programmed, gives you widgets to simplify creating class and subclass mods. In this video, we'll review my recent update to Polymath, which adds a widget for creating custom equipment. We'll then add your custom items to a class mod and load it into the game. We'll review how all this works behind the scenes so you can refine your mods. Lastly, I'll review the exciting things that we can do on my channel in the future. For step one, download Polymath from Nexus Mods using the link in the video description. Install the required software as directed by my prior video. In brief, you'll have to install Python and a few packages. You'll also need to download the Baldur's Gate 3 Modders multi-tool, which is back as a requirement because making custom items work is a little bit more complicated programmatically. Wait, I'm getting a signal. Corporate wanted to stick something into my head, which I thought was just some fancy term for company spirit. Then Steve came back from whatever it was, acting like some lunatic with plastic orc teeth and dripping jello. No way am I gonna be like Steve. To the hells with my contract and to the hells with Kethra. That was strange, um, I need to find out who Steve is. Okay, let's jump into making our custom weapon and armor. We'll only make one of each today, but you can make and add as many as you want. For step two, launch Polymath and open up the Create Custom Weapon or Armor widget. Keep the weapon selection for the moment, giving your weapon a name and description. Then use the drop down menu to pick a weapon template so the game knows how your weapon should look. We're gonna have fun with this today. 
So let's make a crossbow warhammer that would make even Kethrit cry in admiration. So pick a warhammer as your template, give it 20 d6 damage, 1800 range, which is the same range as a crossbow, and a boost for unlocking Scorching Ray. Because the only thing better than a crossbow warhammer is a crossbow warhammer that shoots fire. You can add a few more goodies using the fields, like a default boost to make the warhammer magical, and a passive to ignore bludgeoning resistance. Lastly, make it shiny by giving it a legendary rarity, then make it super valuable and heavy, so you have to lift to use it, bro. Lastly, click Create Equipment, and your entries will be saved to the Excel and TXT files that are shown on the screen. Creating a new armor is fortunately very similar. This is a long video, so I'm not going to detail how we're going to make Kethrick's armor art project, where he made armor using only staples and his private cache of construction paper. That's what he was really shipping to Baldur's Gate. In brief, to make custom armor, change the first box to armor to update the widget, then give it the options that you want in the various fields. Staples are rugged, so give it an armor class of 30. Once done, click Create Equipment, and it's ready to go. Be sure to like and subscribe, because I'll give Kethrick a gold star for each one. Now, before moving on, let's hear a story from one of our employees. Corporate usually doesn't like us talking about our competitors in a positive light, but I saw this crazy tall tiefling the other day. She had a massive axe and wouldn't stop swearing when she grabbed that halfling from human resources by the ankles and chucked him to knock down a gaggle of underdark gnomes. I knew that I had to meet her. I bet I'd just feel so safe if she carried me away in her arms. If that happened, <laughs> praise the absolute. Now that your unique equipment is ready, let's give it to your custom class or subclass mod. For step 3, return to Polymath's main menu, then go to Create Custom Class Subclass Mod. Make your mod as detailed in my prior videos. The change in this release is in the Weapons slash Armor tab. If you go to this tab, you will see your custom weapons and armor show up at the top of the full list boxes. Click on your items and you're ready. Return to the General tab after doing whatever you want and click Create Mod. As mentioned, there's one last step that we have to do before testing your mod, which is fortunately super easy. For step 4, drag your mod folder onto the shiny blue box in the Baldur's Gate 3 Modders multi-tool. We'll delete the progressions underscore every level dot lsx file to speed up testing in this video. To give your class goodies at every level using that file, refer to my guide in the video description. But we're back to using the modders multi-tool at this point. I hope to make polymath self-sufficient again in the future. Lastly, for step 5, drag your pack file into the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, get it loaded into your game, and then launch your game. Once you create your new class and through character creation, you'll see that they have the best Warhammer ever. Don't forget to shoot fire! Uh-oh. It looks like Kethrick's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble. Do you know why I called you here, Kethrick? I've gotten another complaint that you've incited yet another worker to kill you, and then you use that as an excuse to throw them off the tower. We don't tolerate that behavior here at absolute real estate. Self-defense as an excuse doesn't work if you're unkillable. While we're here, no more of those crazy lifelike gummy worms that move around and start going towards people's heads. You're grossing everyone out. Stop it! Getting on to how all of this works code-wise. This is important because Polymath is focused on providing you all with a foundation to build on versus giving you a fully completed Moonrise Towers. Giving your class custom equipment takes just four steps. This was pretty hard to implement on my end, so be sure to support me on my Patreon because I sacrificed about the equivalent of three true souls to make all this work. If you want to skip to the end to hear the updates, feel free to navigate there using the timeline. Step 1 is the easiest. All it takes is putting the code names for your custom weapon or armor and adding them to the equipment.txt file located in the path on the screen. 
formatting the entry as is appropriate for the file. Follow the template that's there to add any additional equipment that you want. Step 2 is also easy, but it does require a little bit of care. We need to store the stats information for your equipment. This is where the weapon or armor.txt files come into play at the path on the screen. Here you declare your equipment codename, tell the game what type of item that it is, use a using line to roughly declare what slot that the equipment is going to use, then define its goodies like weight, damage, range, or boosts. The root template data field, a unique UUID for your equipment, is important because it matches the stats that you're putting in to the root template file that holds other useful information like the model link to your weapon's appearance. You can play around with most of these fields without worrying too much, although I recommend against editing the using field because problems there are enough for your weapon or armor to not show up in game as I found out. Aside from ensuring that things go in the right slot, it doesn't really seem to do much. So I would prioritize finding something that works for the field if you decide to play around with it. Step 3 is also fortunately fairly easy because Polymath takes care of most of the work for you, particularly all those complex UUID assignments. Polymath creates the root templates file in the public folder that establishes your equipment in-game. It links your desired equipment name and description so it shows up just as you want in-game, ensures that the equipment has the right model that you want it to have in-game, and it links your equipment to its respective stats in the weapon or armor.txt files. Going through the fields, the name and stats fields will hold the code names for your equipment and ensuring that the files are appropriately linked. Display name and description are handles that will ultimately hold the in-game descriptions that you want for your equipment and will be relevant for step 4. Map key is that UUID you placed in the root template field in the weapon or armor.txt files. Another step that the game seems to want to have to ensure everything is appropriately connected. Template ID and visual template seem to Offer IDs that link your equipment to existing in-game models, so it shows up just as you want. If something in your mod breaks and you ultimately figure out that it's probably within the root template file, it's most likely due to an issue in the parent template ID field, which can be a little fickle because there are some defective entries that are in the official in-game files. I've addressed most of these issues in Polymath, so let me know if you have any problems. I suggest keeping type as item, as I also had issues with this field. Original file version and level name don't really seem to do much, but I didn't test them. The last step is also easy, and it solely involves taking those handles that you placed in the root templates file into your localization folder and the file there, while also pairing the handles with the in-game name and description that you want. Polymath then runs lslib on the file for you, so you don't really have to worry about it at all. Polymath is all about making modding easier and more accessible. You may have wanted to make a crossbow warhammer, but needed a little help on where to get going. Making weapon and armor mods work in Baldur's Gate 3 is a little bit more complicated than you'd think, as I learned from a three-day hobby project turning into three weeks. Be sure to join my Patreon to help me compensate for the hair that I've lost. Fortunately, Polymath takes care of most of the work for you, so you can focus on creativity rather than coding. When you're ready to go beyond its foundations, my tutorials have you covered and I'm always open for suggestions on what would be helpful for you all to see. And I'm also always reasonably available to help you out with anything you need assistance with. I mentioned there'd be something exciting at the end, and here it is. We covered adding a custom weapon or armor to your class mod. New weapons and armor also don't have to come with a class. Polymath 2.3 and beyond can go in various directions, including creating a widget to give you what you need to make a standalone weapon or armor mod. I want Polymath to be its name, something offering expertise in diverse fields. I'll post another what video should I make next poll 
in the coming few days. So subscribe to stay connected. Let me know what you'd like to see or would find helpful, and I'll do what I can to make it happen. If you really want to see a particular video, join my Patreon and have your vote count for five times as much. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe. Starship out. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck.